me so excited. I love the character and the actor. It is wow. 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 Pierre who? That's genius. That's genius. Jackie. Oh my god. One, two, three, fuck it. Hello, my girls and pals. Welcome back. I am Anna and today we are going to be reacting to the very last episode of Emily in Paris. Fucking finally. Before we start today, do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And also remember that if you like my content, you can support this channel by becoming a patron where you will have exclusive content like uncut reaction videos, anime reactions and movie reactions. Or you can also donate via PayPal a wanting donation or buy me a coffee. All of this is gonna be in the description box down below. I am so excited but I don't have that high hopes on how this is gonna end. So just like let's skip the formalities and let's jump right into this. Thing. Yeah, I'm not loving it either. Pierre Pudot is still spiraling. He won't let us into the atelier. How do I promote a show if I can't see the quotes? They offered me a job emceeing. It's just two nights a week, but they want me to sing. Mindy, that's fantastic! Damn right, yeah. Uh, I hope this means you're gonna kiss him again. I tell you too much. I love it. Wait, are you leaving? Oh, just be toujours à six la. Romantic hot date on a boat. Sign me up. And I meant it. Oh, that's a cute bottle. He won't show me or anyone the new collection. You haven't seen it yet either? Come, I want to show you something. What? My actual go-to move to impress a girl. I can't believe you live here. This view is so beautiful. I couldn't agree more. He wants to cancel his show at the Fashion Week. What? Oh, my God. Oh, yes, it's going to be perfect at the front row of Pierre Cadeau's. Thank you, merci, ma clotilde. Oh, Emilie, bonjour. I'm so glad to see you. You Why? are? Yes. Bonjour. Sylvie, could I see you privately, please? Good. Everyone's here? This bon, will on va se parler un jour ou quoi? Et on se parle là. Écoute, Luc, il est très talentueux. Nobody's, nobody is paying attention. Women's Wear Daily just tweeted that Pierre Cadeau is canceling his show. What? Fuck, 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 fuck. Give me the phone. No, you can't have her personal phone. Oh, what the fuck? Sylvie, please wait. You will never believe this. <laughs> Okay. Now he won't show at Paris Fashion Week for the first time in three decades. So now we have a fashion designer without a fashion show, which is almost as meaningless as an American who doesn't speak French at a Parisian marketing firm. Sylvia, let me just talk to him. You are fired. Get out of my office, clear out your desk, don't show your face here ever again. Sylvie just fired me. Is that all? We thought someone died. Nope, just my career. No, it's no. impossible to fire someone in France. What? We oui. the bureaucracy takes months. Years. Simply abandon your self-respect, come in once or twice a week to move papers around your desk, and don't make eye contact with Sylvie. Oui. My friend got fired from a law firm. He was so angry that he threw his phone into the Seine. They couldn't reach him for weeks to complete his termination. And then, they relaxed. He's a partner now. <laughs> we can throw your phone in the sand if it happens. I wouldn't have lasted here a week without you. Emily, we will never desert you. Never. Is it true? Is that bit true about, you know, firing somebody in France? Gabrielle found the restaurant he can afford. Isn't that good news? The restaurant isn't in Paris, Emily. It's in Normandy. Where is from? What? He... He's moving to Normandy? Yes. Next week. Next week? Next week. What? I'm actually really pissed off. I, me too! For you, I mean. Thank you, Emily. You're such a good friend. I'm really gonna miss your omelets. <sighs> and his kisses? What about his kisses? It's next to a restaurant with two Michelin stars that is very popular. 
too popular. So I thought whenever people can get in... They come to the place next door. Oh, sure. What are you doing here? Do I need to fire you again? No. Would you please bring me a copy of the paperwork so I can close this matter? Mais oui, Sylvie. Thank you. <laughs> me and Antoine. You know how is it when you put two alpha males together? Somebody is going to get killed. I love them trying to help. Oh my god. This is so sweet. You're welcome. I really love his style. Did you see that? How do you call it? It's not a pen. Did you open this? You are very indignant for someone who does not work here. Grace Pace took over Pierre's old venue. We oui, what a slap in the face. Pierre got one as well. Really? They're dancing on his grave and inviting him to watch? That's, That's so insulting. It's yeah. despicable. Oh, and he wants to see you now. Oh, damn. OK. Oh, damn. Gossip girl. Elle est arrivée. Bonjour, Pierre. Oh, my God, I love him. Mm, très bien. I love him. I wake up! <laughs> Oh, it's amazing. But you inspired it. I shall make a dozen right now. And now, everyone out. Can I see the dress first? Can you, can you show me the dress? <laughs> no? Fuck me, I guess. Thank you. More empty stunts. We need to look at things from a different perspective. Yeah, but there's no way we can find a venue. Oh, good, you're here. You don't have an elevator, do you? No, what's going on? Oh, Oogie! <laughs> and the DuPonts fired me. I thought it was really hard to fire people in France. Ugh, it's a lot easier if you've overstayed your visa illegally. I don't know. Well, <gasps> I'm gonna buy you so much wine. Uh, wait, this is gonna... I thought you might like to have this. Really? I promise I'll never clean it. <laughs> Merci. Uh, Hot chef is leaving Paris. And he's single. Ugh, you heard all that from the bathroom? <gasps> These walls are made of straw and horse hair. I'm gonna be super quiet. I gotta say, just seeing that hurts my heart. That is so insulting. You're here to see Pierre Cano! <laughs> he's so happy so excited i love the character and the actor it is wow 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 pierre who that's genius that's genius Jackie. oh my god Uh, that that character just steals the spotlight every time he's in the frame. Wow. Oh, he's full of promises, isn't he? I think you will be a much better fit for my husband. Right. Uh, professionally. What? What Whatever you mean? want to call it. What the fuck? I approve. What the fuck? Okay. Holy shit. What just happened? Have you ever been to, say, Central Pay? Never. What about this weekend? I just put him in a car, and he is going to crash a great space event at Caviar Casper. I told him we'd meet him there. Ah, oh, the chef. Oh, is that okay? Of course, we have all weekend to celebrate. Emily. Of course, we end up here. About our conversation the other day, I've decided not to file your termination paperwork. Oh. Oh, I just live right down there. That's convenient. Excuse me? Hey. Oh, I thought you were leaving this morning. <laughs> so did I. So uh, what's the champagne for? <laughs> your last hurrah? Antoine wants to back me in a restaurant. <laughs> in, in Paris? I'll go get another glass. 
Damn. I wish we had we had built like some more plot in the first like since the first episode or at least and at the middle of the season to have it um you know a conflict disentangling at the very end. That would have been much more satisfactory than have Everything being a conflict and being resolved within the same episode, starting with Pierre Cadeau and, you know, him being all depressed. I, I guess you can count it since last episode that he, his, his conflict started since the ninth episode and kind of ended in this one. For example, I think Camille and uh, Gabrielle maybe could count, you know, the whole love triangle between Emily, Camille, and him. Mm -mm, she's in trouble. She's in so much trouble. I bet Camille knows by now. And I bet, like, she's, like, right there in the middle. She has Gabrielle. She has, yeah, Gabrielle, who's not moving anywhere. She has Antoine that, you know, the wife is, like, all good. Move forward. Do whatever the fuck you want with him. Literally. I'm good. I agree. I consent. He's all yours. And then she has uh, Matthew Cadeau. Them sleeping together, you know, it, it was not all good because although Gabrielle has already split up with Camille, Emily is actually seeing somebody else. They're not like together together, but he's taking her on a weekend to Santa Fe, like She's seeing somebody and like sleeping with your longtime crush slash neighbor and impossible platonic love is not okay if you already have a guy and you know uh, it's a very gray area that I still think counts as a little bit of cheating just saying because can you imagine if Matthew finds out or when he finds out and how he's gonna react. I wanna see the next season only to see how things are gonna develop. Will I react to it? I don't think so. Unless it gets really, really better than this whole first season. Unless it's better, I don't think I'm gonna be reacting to it. However, it was fun to do the first season. And I do plan to watch the next one to see, you know, how things are going to develop all the conflicts and things like that and everything that we left open with Gabrielle and with Camille and also Mindy living with Emily that I imagine is not something very easy. A lot of things can, can happen so I'm excited for that. Alright guys, so this was it for Emily in Paris, the whole show, the whole thing. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it and had fun with me. Tell me your thoughts and opinions about the seasons and the characters and the arcs, the plots, the conflict, everything I want to know. Thank you very much for joining me on this trip in Paris. And, you know, have a great day and I will be seeing you around.